This is SK Ghosh. I would like to welcome you to our web seminar today. The topic, as you see, significant changes in ACI 31819. Uh, this is part one of the seminar with, with uh, the rest to follow in, in subsequent weeks. Okay, with, with that, uh, ACI 31819 <laughs> looks exactly the same on the outside as 31814. Uh, un unless you look at the date, it looks exactly the same except for a bit of color. Now inside there is a lot of color. The, the figures are colored, uh, the uh, page headings are colored. So that is a, 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 a difference that will jump out at you as soon as you open the book. There are a large number of substantive changes of far-reaching consequence between ACI 318, 14 and 19 and this will require significant learning and adjustment on the part of the practitioner. I, I wrote, wrote both sentences very deliberately. You, you will see the extent of the changes and, and, and how substantive and fundamental some of them are. ACI 318.19 has, has been adopted by the 2021 IBC, which will be out uh, this fall, fall of 2020 and the 2021 IBC will be adopted by the state of California on January 1 of 2023. I give you the California date for two reasons. One is obviously California is, is, is huge. It accounts for a, a, a very significant percentage of the construction in the country. Uh, secondly, California is a state that has a date. They, they have to adopt the new IBC that comes out every three years. So this is one of the few jurisdictions in the country that has a firm date for adoption of a code. ACI 318.19 will also be the reference document in ASCE 7.22. Uh, chapter 14 of the standard on material specific requirements will be referring to uh, 318.19. The AC722 is still being worked on. It has not been finalized, but what I just told you is, is absolutely going to be the case. And AC722 will be referenced by the 2024 IBC. I thought to start with, it would be a good idea to give you uh, uh, a glimpse at some of the biggest changes uh, that have been made in 318.19. High strength reinforcement, yield strengths of 80 KSI and 100 KSI have been introduced uh, for applications including high seismic applications. And, and, and we will give you details on every item, obviously, in the rest of the seminar. Straight bar development length uh, has been modified. Hooked bar development length as well as headed bar development length, significant modifications. Simplified shear provisions for non-priestess beams and slabs. This is a, a in some ways a huge change. So, so basic shear design of a reinforced concrete beam is going to be fundamentally different from the way we have done it all these years. Okay. Uh, then recognition of size effect on the shear strength contributed by concrete. So shear strength of a member comes partly from concrete, partly from shear reinforcement. The part that is contributed by concrete is subject to size effect. You, you increase the depth, uh, the shear strength does not go up proportionately beyond the point. So that is going to be or, or has been recognized in 318.19. 
screw anchors and shear lugs are two items that are specifically addressed for the first time in chapter 17 of 318-19, the, the chapter on, on anchoring to concrete. Uh, short grid provisions which have not been in 318 have been in the IBC. Short grid provisions have been have been introduced into 318-19. Uh, the uh, shear walls, uh, ordinary shear walls are designed by chapter 14, special shear walls obviously by chapter 18. The shear strength equations are very different or, or used to be very different between chapter 14 and chapter 18. 